Hello, welcome to UK Gaming Network. I'm Zoidberg, and today I'm playing Wolverblade on the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is a game that we first played three years ago at the Manchester Play Expo, and it's managed to keep impressing us ever since. Um, so here we go. It's uh, if, you, if you're a fan of games like Golden Axe, then this is definitely the game for you. Or if Golden Axe is a bit too old for you, maybe think Castle Crashes. Uh, so, uh, from the menu, you've got your choices of campaign, arenas, or some extras, and the extras will come to in a bit. Um, campaign, right, so you have a choice of normal or arcade. In normal mode, you'll get che you'll get checkpoints and save states and you can carry on. Arcade mode is your classic, three continues, when you get game over, I have to start all over again. So, we're going to play it on normal, and we'll show this. Right, you get a choice of three characters. There is uh, Guinevere, Brennus, or Caradoc. I'm going to go with Caradoc. This can be played um, two player, obviously, um, to give it that full Golden Axe feel. Uh, I've already completed level one, so uh, this is the map screen. I'll go straight to level two. I think this game might very well be the most violent game I've ever seen on a Nintendo console. And yes, I have played Mad World on the Wii. So the main criticism that I have for this game so far is that the loading times are fairly long. Yeah. So you've got your standard controls, you've got your attack, defend. When you defend you can roll backwards and forwards by double tapping. And if you double tap forward, you'll run. I, I have picked up the severed head and used it as a weapon. Pretty much every enemy that you kill will drop something, whether it's a body part or a weapon. But they can all be picked up and thrown. Now that big sword there, that's a that allows you to do your power moves. Let's pick it up. We need more men. Oh, when, not when enemies are dazed, you can execute. As you can see, this is a very impressive game to look at. So we die if we lose this throne, or die fighting our own. Huh? How'd you get here? Let's call it Who Oh, you my life, my friend. Oh, 
watchers. When enemies are about to attack, you get the exclamation point in your head, which should allow you to pull up the shield in time. You won't get past that. You will never kick us, Peter. Underneath the health bar in the top left hand corner, um, you'll see a blue bar that is now full. That's the rage meter. Which next time I've got a few enemies on screen, I'll show you. You're mine! Stands here. You will go no further. Don't be so sure, Trita. <laughs> As you just saw, I just passed the checkpoint. Uh, this is this is where I would return to if I lost all three lives and got a game over. The gods are with us.
this kind of game before then a lot of the old um, tactics do work zigzagging up and down to avoid the enemy. Now you'll stay where you stand. This is where I could restart and go back to the checkpoint, but uh, what I'll do instead is I'll go back to the main menu and show you a couple of other things. But there is a um, there's a satisfying weight to the combat in this game that, that makes it really good fun to play. So uh, you've got arenas mode. And arenas is basically uh, choose an area and fight off the horde. Uh, let's go for that one. And this just gets progressively harder. Uh, I'll show you what Guinevere is like for this. Okay, so here we go. Kill the enemy to begin. So Guinevere is a bit faster than Caradoc was, and also has some a uh, little bit more um, aerial. Bigger and harder, as you would expect from a horde mode.
can see the swords flashing red. These ones do wear out eventually. There you go, lost it. set scores for your friends for your friends to try and beat so that's arena's mode so I think it's really impressive how this game has managed to uh, stay good for three whole years between when we first saw it and, and its final release. So here's a, here's a quick look at the extras menu. So obviously you've got your leaderboards, uh, but this is a really impressive part of the game you got because the game is based on his, on historical fact. So you have lots of historical things and scrolls to read. Telling you all about the real life things. And those and those you'll unlock as you play through the main game. And all the different real life swords and weapons. all your intros but one thing I especially liked I'll show you, I'll see if I've got time to show you this as you saw the campaign map before uh, when I started the game uh, on that map you will get here we go um, real life clips showing you the real life locations so like proper location footage as the, showing you how how well researched the game has been this is Castle Rig Stone Circle in Keswick, Cumbria. It's one of the most breathtaking circles in the UK, at 700 feet above sea level, and nestling between the great mountains of Alabama. So this is Wolverblade. It's out now on Nintendo Switch for 14.99. Um, well worth it, in, in our opinion. It, and it's due to come out on PS4 and Xbox One and Steam at a later date. No official date has been announced for those consoles as yet. But it's definitely one worth putting on your list of awaited titles. This has been uh, UK Gaming Network. I'm Zoidberg. Thanks for watching.